Today we are at DNW Homes in Henderson, West Virginia. We're getting ready to check out a really cool looking home. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you all about it. But Tim, you say every home is really cool. <laughs> I know, they are, I swear. All right, so this is the Bellevue. It is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,040 square foot modular home. And yes, it is modular. It would sit on a foundation or crawl space. Right now, you can see the frames up underneath. That's just because they have to put modular homes on frames in order to transport them. They're not permanently affixed to the frame itself. So, just wanted to get that out there for you guys. But this home, the inside of it, I walked in, I was, I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, last two homes I toured, those were really cool. This one, it's like, oh, all right. And then I walked inside and was like, oh yeah, this one's nice. So, super excited about getting in there and showing it to you guys. Of course, all I did was walk into the living room and the kitchen. But, as soon as I walked in, there was a foyer, so we can go ahead and check that off the box. Everybody's gonna love it immediately, right? I hope so anyway. We're already getting like started on the right foot. Jen set us up with 36 homes on this trip. I'm super excited about it. Uh, pretty much all modular and site built homes that we'll be checking out. And then of course, like I said uh, earlier on, we are also going down to Florida uh, towards the end of the month also. So, so many homes. All right, this is your side door right here. If you would have like a, a garage or something off to the side of it, that enters into your mud room. All the ice is starting to melt. It's turning into mud. Now the one thing, I know I didn't talk much about this home as we were walking around it. Um, it does have vinyl siding, but I love the color of the vinyl. And I also like how it transitions like, or matches kind of uh, the shutters. It's like a mossy green with this nice tan color. I like it. Anyway. All right, let's go ahead and hop inside. All right, so when you first come in, you're greeted with, like I said, this foyer. You have this nice little built-in. Go ahead and drop your shoes, hang your coats. And then next to that, maybe that's where your book bags are going, you know what I mean? You can put your coats in here. And then from there, you walk through this archway and ah, uh, gorgeous. I like it. Eat carpet and all. Give it to me. Everything. I like it. All right, walking, I'm gonna turn you back around and let you look at it in a second. I'm just, I'm drawn over here. Um, oh, that's fake. I was like, man, that's the biggest VHS thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Why is that in here? Anyway, no, that's fake. They don't make TVs like that. Anyway. You have a couple built-ins on either side of your entertainment center. And then you have this kind of rustic wood shiplap look. You've got some accent lights up in there. Really nice. And then you have some built-ins up underneath. And of course, a place to mount your TV. Now I'll go ahead and turn you around and let you check out the rest of the living room. There you go. Yeah, sorry, I just, I saw that thing and that was the first thing I just kind of, let's go look at it. And then into your kitchen, which I mean, look at all that stuff going on around the stove. So much stuff. I like the countertops too. So you do have, they went with a brown backsplash right here. And some wood shelves and then they have the little notches in there so you can adjust it i love these pillars next to the stove especially like almost you know where they had we've seen those stone arches i think I, this is it's much cleaner looking here i like the stone but at the same time i don't know 
y'all got me on the that's a lot to clean part so this looks like a lot less to clean you do have your microwave mounted up above the top of your stove this just looks like there's going to be there's got to be something in here we're going to find it all right i guess not anyway you got some more cabinets nice glass front cabinet right here and then a whole bunch of drawers coming around the rest of the the counter space stainless sink right below your window and you got these are the crank out windows they actually like they fold out crank them out and then they tuck back in nicely i like that got your dishwasher and your big old stainless whirlpool refrigerator with a refrigerator on one side and the freezer on the other and then I believe this is this is gonna be your pantry area in here yeah and then this island every bit as beautiful as the rest of the kitchen You've got some nice glass doors right here obviously some speeding speeding some speeding space it's cold my, my jaw is starting to lock some seating space some more cabinets i mean if you're a decorator i feel like or you got some like fancy bowls or something this is definitely your home and you got some pot and pan drawers over here nice 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 coming into the dining room big old space for a dining room table and then you have your sliding glass door right here lead out onto that back deck with the swimming pool and then coming down the hall into your first bathroom you got a single vanity I love that the cabinets all match each other and even the backsplash and the countertops so that is nice then you have your linen closet you do have some shelves right here they would they would be mounted your toilet get some decorations up above it and then this big old oval shower and tub combo coming out of the bathroom and continuing down the hall on the opposite side of the hallway this is where both both of your bedrooms are going to be on this side you do have your first bedroom really nice size and then into your closet man all right this is your second bedroom again another nice size And then this is your closet. And then across the hall from that is your utility room. Ooh, you got a couple closets. There's closets everywhere in here. So you have your furnace. This is the door that you walk in. I just kind of wanted to give you guys some perspective. So behind this door would be your furnace. And then you have some built-in linen cabinets. Your electric panel, washer and dryer hookups. 
and then a whole bunch of counter space to fold and whatever else you want to do in here. You got nice deep wash basin, cabinets. I almost wanted to say put a freezer over there and which I think could still work if you could get a plug over there to have them put it in. And then you have access uh, up into your attic and then you have your water heater. And then that, uh, we saw that door outside that's on the side of the house uh, that would go out into a garage or a side step or deck or something. All right, now we'll go back across the home to the living room and into the master bedroom. And if you guys haven't been, uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check out the website, timothyplivingston.com. Um, we, we put up a lot of these tours up over there too, but we also do a whole bunch of write-ups, just kind of a little bit more descriptive about it. And then on top of that, there's some, inf you know, informative articles uh, dealing with both modular home, manufactured homes, site-built homes, beyond just the tours. So uh, check that out. Would love your feedback on it. And then you can also join the mailing list and get notified whenever we put up what well, we do once a week. I do it every Thursday, so I'm not bombarding your email. Uh, but I do... I do like a weekly roundup of all the different articles we've done and stuff, so you can check that out. Anyway, this is your master bathroom. Look at that tub. Ooh. That thing is gigantic. And then behind the door. Is a nice deep linen closet. Big old shower. So you got your rainfall shower head, your removable shower head, another shower head, <laughs> a bench, and then you don't even have to, you just right here, turn it all on. That's what I'm talking about. And then you do have your water closet over here also. All right, I think this home was really cool. I really like this one. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Uh, if you want more information on this home or DNW Homes, I'll leave that information for you down in the description. If you want to check out another DNW Home, go ahead and click on this video right here. And as always, guys, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.